Sonic Frontiers is the new upcoming Sonic game that is open world that may or may not revitalize Sonic's franchise. You would think Sega would capitalize on the momentum of the release of the new movie by releasing more info about Sonic Frontiers because that's coming out this year. How? How you, I'm saying, how, like... The only reason why Sonic Frontiers even popped in my head was due to the movie, which was... Godly Wicked! Sonic 2 is fan service on steroids. It's batshit crazy. It really made me love and appreciate Sonic and the characters again, because it's been a while. I want to see a Sonic Adventure Battle 3. Nah, nah, nah. A, a Sonic Heroes 2. Fuck it. Even a Sonic Riders. I just want a good Sonic game again. His stock has definitely dropped due to how Sega terribly misused him and the universe. Like, did my guy really need a sword? Bruh. That's like when they put Spider-Man on a motorcycle. It's super jarring and corny. Anyways, the last real news we got about Sonic Frontiers was at the Video Game Awards, where they showed a trailer full of nothing. It's hard to get excited about a new Sonic game since the last game was Sonic Forces, and Frontiers hasn't shown anything interesting. Like, how is Sonic even gonna move around? What are enemies like? There are so many questions that we should have answers to, but we don't. Yo, what's good? You already know I'm Ken Wall, and Sonic Frontiers is probably not. Nah, it is the least talked about game coming out this year. And I ain't too confident in it coming out this year since I don't believe in release dates anymore. But if it is coming out this year, what's good with the communication? At the Video Game Awards, we got the first trailer for both the movie and Frontiers. So I was actually pretty excited for april to roll around because again i would think this would be the best time to release some new info but i guess not i was gonna go over everything we know about this game but quite frankly we don't know shit so let's go over everything we don't know about this game to hopefully maybe conjure up the spirits to make sega release some new info on sonic frontiers I always say if you're gonna copy copy from the best my biggest question about this game is the open world sonic frontiers takes place in starfall islands which will have different environments unlike some games that's all we know about the open world as we all know open world is a big endeavor it has to have a lot and most importantly it has to be meaningful i wonder what's going to be in starfall islands are there going to be side quests and if there are how will that work since it looks like this game, like many others, takes inspiration from Breath of the Wild, I wouldn't mind if they did it similar to that. The development of Frontier started as soon as Forces was done, so that means they have been working on this game for a good amount of time. So I hope they really took time to put necessary game systems in the open world. Another key thing that makes most open world games great is exploration. This is one of the reasons why Elden Ring is mopping the floor on these other open world games. This is going to be one of the biggest aspects in open world games that will come in question post Elden Ring. Exploration can be very cool in this game since Sonic is super fast and that brings me to my next question. How is Sonic going to work in this game? This game could be the closest thing to us getting a Flash game, which would be great. Or it could be why they never greenlit a Flash game. Sonic's mobility is something I can't wait to see how it will be implemented because it has to be great. They don't have the luxury of adding horses or cars. Wait, on second thought, At least that would make a little bit more sense than Sonic riding a horse. But seriously, movement has to be taken as seriously as games like Spider-Man and Dying Light since this is what we're going to be doing most of the time. For the most part, we're used to Sonic just running and jumping. Team Sonic's creative officer Takahashi Izukiya has said that there will be new exploration options. That gets me excited because we're used to Sonic moving one way. but. What if now he could climb? Sonic Frontiers is very interesting because Sonic at its core has been the same for God knows how long. Again, running and jumping. But Sonic Frontiers is their chance to really shake things up in a meaningful way. Sonic has a wide and unique variety of enemies he has faced. Many that I bet my left ass you have probably never seen like this menace. He may not look dangerous to us, but weasels eat the shit out of hedgehogs a lot. Seriously, what will be the enemy and combat design in Frontiers? I can't imagine us still just 
honing in on enemies and one-shotting them. Team Sonic has said that they will introduce new combat skills to bring to Sonic's signature dexterity onto the battlefield. Team Sonic mentioning combat styles makes it seem to me that Frontiers will have a variety of enemies and that Sonic will have different movesets and playstyles to handle these enemies. I just hope the enemies are more engaging than the ones in the previous games. After creating the script for this video, I was dumbfounded by the amount of information we don't know about this game. But it did leave me a little optimistic because this game has to break the mold. And that makes me excited. I know when they try and switch things up with Sonic, it doesn't always pay off, but open world Sonic may be what it needs. As always, you already know I'm Ken Wall. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.